What's up guys? Oh, welcome back to another pottery video. So good to have you in my studio today. We are getting down there. Final videos in this studio. So exciting to get into the new studio. So we have a completely full kiln and I've been doing a lot of kilns without filming them because they've just been like Northern Lights mug after Northern Lights mug after Northern Lights mug like all those Kickstarter ones. But there's a lot of tester like new experimentation stuff in there like this one is included. I'm drinking coffee out of this one right now. One of the things I always would recommend, let's just focus on this cup for a second. Isn't that dope? So I would definitely recommend that you use your pottery. And so I've been using my pottery now for eight, nine years, and you learn a lot. You learn a lot from what you like, what you don't like. You learn a lot based on like, do you like the feel of the clay? Do you like the look of it? Do you like the lip, how the lip feels? There's a lot of things that you can learn from using yours and other people's pottery. So I would definitely recommend using it. Whenever I start trying stuff new, I always bring stuff home and use it for a week, put it in the dishwasher, like make sure that it's not super breakable, that it's not like seeping, that the clay is vitrified, all that stuff. So it's really important, really important. If you're gonna be selling your artwork, definitely recommend using it before you sell it. You ready to unload this kiln? Oh, first we gotta say shout out to our sponsor, Continental Clay, Denver location, Minneapolis location, online location. It's where I get all my clay. Love you guys. ContinentalClay.com for more info. Anything else new? What's new with you? How are you doing out there? I'm so happy you stopped by the YouTube channel and are joining me. I just am like, I'm just like so in love with this cup. It worked out so well. Pretty soon, I'm gonna start talking about some of these glazes. We got some great glaze combinations coming. Many videos to come in the future. Okay, enough babbling. It is time. It's time to unload this kiln and show you, and show you. <laughs> you ready for this? We're gonna make this a pretty quick kiln unloading. I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna unload stuff really quick, throw in some pictures, have you listen to some music. So I'm not gonna talk as much about this one as I'm just gonna like, boom, 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 boom. Let's do it. Uh, new stuff, which I will be talking about in all these future videos. Oh, that's, Pretty dope. New one, I've been using my, my sweet diamond core tools to do some carving. These are all, a bunch of these were thrown with one hand and I'm gonna use them as little flower pots or succulents or something. There's some new ones, new combos. And then finally we started making some, some Minnesota mugs again. Those look nice. Those are gonna go right up on the shelves. The shelves at Moke Monkey are Pretty low. There's some of that marbled clay. Excited to do a do a video very soon on how to do this. That is awesome. Love it. Yes. And then these, these Texas mugs. Shout out to Texas. Were are for a custom order that someone placed like three months ago, and I'm finally just getting them done. I feel like really terrible about it. But there were a few t custom Texas mugs that came through on the Kickstarter too, so I had to make a few Texas. Texas in the Northern Lights. And then this, you guys are gonna freak when I show you this. You're gonna freak! This, look at this glaze right now. Guess, oh, there's two of them. This is one glaze. There's one glaze on these mugs. And I, I, can't, I'm, I'm, I can't tell you what it is yet, but I will. I will very, very soon. And then here's some other new combos. If you're watching this and you're in Waconia or you want to come by Mocha Monkey, these are going to be on the shelves in about five minutes. Look at that. That's pretty. What? Look at that. That is just. Looks like the ocean. Looks like this is like sand. And this is like ocean. And this is where the waves crash on the sand. Remember how I said I wasn't going to talk very much through this kiln unloading? I guess that's not possible. Ooh, that's a little. So this is a bowl that I threw for, shout out to Miranda Long, who is on Instagram, I think she's at Small Town Clay. She's been a huge supporter of the YouTube channel and she, her mom actually was the one, one of them that made the first sale ever on the Etsy online. And uh, so I'm sending her this bowl because she asked me for a cereal bowl. Sorry, it's slightly warped, but it was the only bowl I had laying around. So I glazed it and uh, this one's coming to you. So everything else in here are all these twisted mugs. So these are the twisted mugs that are going out for the Kickstarter. So that was one of the tiers on the Kickstarter. 
So literally everything else in this kiln is a twisted mug. So now I'm actually gonna stop talking and just unload and set you guys on speed mode. So just sit back, enjoy. Sit back and uh, listen to some music and enjoy me. it that's it for this video guys thank you so much for joining me in the studio today love unloading kilns with you guys it's so fun what a fun kiln huh i mean lots of twisted mugs super interesting things that are going to be so fun in the coming coming new videos so excited for all that stuff coming so shout out again to our sponsor continental clay thanks so much for sponsoring these videos making all this stuff possible thank you guys so much if you haven't already, hit subscribe, like, comment, share, all those things. Check us out on Patreon if you want to support financially over there and get uh, entered into winning pots every month. Smash that bell. Smash it. And we'll see you in the next video. <gasps> totally Peter McKinnon. You guys watch Peter McKinnon? If you don't watch Peter McKinnon, and now you do, you'll see a lot of similarities between JTP and PM. That's okay, we are all inspired, right? It's like when I'm online and I see other people's spots and I think, hey, they might've got that for me. I don't think, hey, they're stealing that for me. I think, that's cool. They like my work enough that they wanna make their work look like my work? Psh, makes me wanna just keep making more better work. So magical. So magical. All right. Peace.